Hello and welcome to Trade of the Week on Monday, the 3rd of July, 2023. Now, about a month ago, we went along the VIX index, the volatility index. And as we can see here, we've been drifting lower ever since. We had this sideways trading range for much of June and then we declined further at the beginning of July. But we still have our stop loss in place and it is placed below the low seen back in February of 2020. And so far we are still away from there after having seen nine consecutive weeks of losses with regards to the VIX. Moving on to uh, the other trades we've got on. Well, actually, this one we don't have on anymore. We went short the FTSE 100 and uh, did so in mid-June. We got out of this trade at uh, 7,450, so we had a nice profit on that trade. So that one is uh, no longer valid. And then last week, we went uh, short the NASDAQ 100 on the break of its uptrend. And we did short term come off, as you can see here, um, uh, drop down to below 14,700. But since then, because of much better than expected data coming out of the US uh, and also inflationary pressures in the US um, abating, the uh, NASDAQ 100 uh, is currently surging higher again. And we are getting very close to our stop loss here at 15,285 on a daily chart closing basis. Moving on to orange juice uh, for today's uh, trade of the week, I uh, would like to go uh, short orange juice at uh, around uh, two dollars and sixty um, seventy five or so. So that would mean we would have a uh, five cent stop loss, but we would have a downside target of around uh, uh, two dollars and. Um, uh, 30 cents or so just above the 200 day simply moving average so from a risk reward point of view this trade does make sense so today's uh, trade of the week is to go short orange juice at two dollars and 60 75 with a stock loss at two dollars 65 75 and a downside target at two dollars 30 75 <music>